And the county government of Elgeo Marquet has given two weeks notice to a Chinese construction company to abide by the local bylaws of operation or face eviction from their construction site in Iten. So just what are the issues at hand? NTV's Lois Wongoy with the answers. <laughs> At the Elgeo Marakwet County, a closed door meeting to deliberate on the way forward on the swearing work relationship between Sino City Construction Company and the county. How comes that they have a contract with Kenna and other contractors with Kenna are pay? Are they correct not to pay and others are pay? All contractors are abiding by the law. They are paying sales for Maram, expected the Chinese ones doing it in there. During the meeting, the Chinese insisted that their working agreement is with Kenha, accusing the county government of Elgeo Marakwet of overstepping boundaries. SCC company has since received the two-week grace period to pay all their sales arrears. They continued with scaled-down operations along the Iten Nyaru Road, albeit on low scale. They were asked nine million. Away from the cess revenue, county officials say the Chinese construction company has failed to secure and reclaim their excavation areas, raising questions about whether there was an environmental impact assessment report before commencing construction of the Iten Nyaru Road. The other day we were seeing the Patel farm in Akuru, the Salida and tragedy. The NEMA director and the county government of Nakuru is now in court with the county officials. And personally, I cannot wait to be taken to court because of somebody is not complying. Last week, the county government of El Geo Marakwet had impounded vehicles belonging to the Sino Chinese construction company before releasing them. The row comes at a time when China has accused Nairobi of waging a trade war against it, as quoted in the Daily Nation, vowing to take action against Kenya. Luis Wangoi, NTV, Iten, in the county of El Geo Marakwet.